rounding whole numbers through hundred millions, lesson 104. Here are your objectives. Round whole numbers to the nearest hundred thousand and nearest million. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this place value chart. We have what we call ones, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Notice same pattern, one ten hundred, one ten hundred. Millions, one millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, etc. Okay, so it's always going to follow this pattern. So one thousands means it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. Once then we start getting to the ten thousands, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety thousands, and we get into the hundred thousands. Okay, so it's just kind of that's the pattern that works here, and I know you know this, but you'd be surprised um, when we start getting into these big numbers. Um, that you just don't want to forget that. So, um, how is the value of each place related to the value of the place to its right? So we just kind of look at that, and each place is 10 times greater than the place to its right. So if I had a 1 here and a 1 here, this, this 1 in the tens column is exactly 10 times greater than the 1 that's here. Okay? Okay. So, that's kind of what you see. All right? It is pretty cool, by the way. All right? So no matter what number, here, let me put a number in there. If I were to put a 5 here and a 5 here, these 5 tens are exactly 10 times more than 5 ones. How do I know? 5 times 10 is 50. 5 tens is 10 times more than 5 ones. It's just cool. It's just math cool stuff. Okay, so example one. Round 12,876,250 to the nearest million. Okay, so here we have 12 million. If we were to count, we'd say 12 million, 13 million, 14 million, however that works. So we're going to look at this 12 million. And we go ahead and we take a look right here to this next number. You know the rule if this number here is more than is five or more, then it's rounded up to the next higher number. Okay? So twelve million eight hundred seventy-six thousand two hundred fifty is more than halfway between twelve and thirteen million just because you can see this right there, okay? So we round up to 13 million. Does that make sense? If not, take a few moments, figure it out, take your time, make it work for you. For example, two, round 16,458,500 to the nearest 100,000. So now it's asking you to go to the 100,000, that's right here, okay, that's, in, that's the 4, and you go directly to the number right to the right of it, that's a 5, remember 5 or more, the number gets bigger, okay, so we're 100,000, here's the 10,000th place, so we're going to add 1, and so once we do that, we're going to go ahead and end up with, and you already see that here, 16 million, and then we're adding one here, so we're going, this five is going to mean that this one's going to add one, which you already see, so that's going to be 500,000. Because once you round up, the other numbers are automatically reduced to zeros. Okay? All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's move on. Take your time. Take your time. For example, 3, round 237,984,000 to the nearest 100 million. Okay? So here we have it marked off. Here's the 100 million right there. Do, do, do. And we're going to go ahead and go, just like this arrow shows, to the number directly to the right of it. That's a 3. 
Okay, 3 is definitely less than 5, so the digit to the right of the 100 millions place is 3. So we don't change the 100 millions, but we do drop the rest. And so we end up with just 200 million. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. All right, take your time. All right, let's take a quick look at uh, lesson practice. Hopefully I left enough room here. We'll find out. So we want to round 2,156,324. By the way, you notice how easy that is to read? I'm just going to say 2,156,324, right, to the nearest million. Okay, so this is the millions. First thing I'm going to do is take a look right here. That's a 1. It's less than 5. I'm going to round it to 2 million. Okay? Next one, round 28,376,000 to the nearest 10 million. Well, okay, this is the 10 millions right here. And I'm going to go directly to the number to the right of it. That's an 8. That's 5 or more. So I'm going to have to add 1 to this. So it's now going to be 30 million. Okay. So now C, round 412,500,000 to the nearest 100 million. Here's my 100 million. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the number directly to the right of it. That's a 1. It's definitely less than 5. So I'm just going to not even bother with these and end up with 400 million. Okay, does that make sense? Take your time. All right, so now on these we want to estimate. We're going to round each number to the nearest hundred thousand. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is take a look. Here's the hundred thousand column. Okay? We take a direct look right to the number right next to it. This is less than five, so we're going to have five million three hundred thousand. Okay, because that's to the nearest hundred thousand. So now this number here, seventy five million nine hundred sixty five thousand, here's the hundred thousand. This one's going to be a smidgy bit tricky. So watch carefully. I know you know how to do it, but this is where sometimes it can be a little tricky. Not a big deal. All right, so there's the 100,000. We're going to go ahead and look directly to the number to its right. That's a 6. That's greater than 5. So that means that I'm going to go ahead and add 1 to the 100 million section. Well, if I add 1, that's going to make that a 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. So that actually means that this... Um, number is going to actually end up going over here, okay? Because you can't have higher than a 9 in um, a column, a place value column. So that will end up being 76 million. This one, again, take your time on this one. This one sometimes can seem tricky. You'll say, here, we're adding 1, so this is going to be 10, so it's got to go over here. Hopefully this makes sense. All right, and then the very last one, 350,525,000, okay? So nearest 100,000 right here. We're going to take a look to the column right directly to the right. That's a 2. It's less than 5. So we're going to have 350,525,000. Okay? All right. Practice, practice. All right. 
Enjoy written practice. Have a happy, happy math day. It's going to be great.